One of the things that we, of course, are tremendously interested in is the whole idea of the ready-made. We're familiar with the concept of junk sculpture. This is something that such artists as Stankiewicz and even Picasso in earlier days more or less advanced to pick up an object which was made for an entirely different use, possibly a discarded object, which because of its shape and its patination, its configuration, suggests another possibility. It may be a very satisfying texture, a very romantic kind of quality about the piece. In other words, it became a kind of chosen object, but chosen for aesthetic reasons. In what respect does junk sculpture differ from the concept of the ready-made? Let's say, for example, the bottle rack or the bicycle wheel. This was, of course, the difficulty when it came to my mind, but that was back in 1915 when I applied the word ready-made to these objects. In fact, I only made 13 of them in my life in 40 years, so it's not very much of an occupation. But even so, even so, I mean, the, the fact of choosing, of selecting and deciding on one was the result of being very careful about not using my sense of beauty or my belief in some aesthetics or some kind. In other words, finding some object of complete indifference as far as aesthetics are concerned. And uh, that indifference is very difficult because there's always some detail in any object that will attract you aesthetically, meaning that you'll find it beautiful or even ugly which is the same thing. Ugly or beautiful is the same thing when it comes to choosing an object in the form of a ready-made. By ready-made also the idea of was being made by, either manufactured or made by another person can be a ready-made too, you see. I even remember signing a big painting in a restaurant for the pleasure of uh, calling it ready-made, you see, and it, of course it was not manufactured. <laughs> So, of course, I couldn't take the painting with me because it was, it was attached to the wall. But this explains that the difficulty is to make people understand that it was not through an attraction of the beauty of the object that I would call it ready-made. That's why I made so few because after a certain while, ne anything becomes beautiful. You know, it takes 40 years sometimes for my, uh, what is it called, the bottle rack to become very, n people say, it's so beautiful, and uh, it's the worst compliment they can give me. <laughs>